And now the starting lineup for the visiting Bear River Bears. Wearing number five, Emma Bittner. Number eight, Kenya Tomlinson. Number 10, Casey Windward. Number 11, Ashley Roberts. Number 13, Karima Escobar. Number 16, Carly Randall. Number 19, Mackenzie Lorimer. Number 22, Tilly Schaefer. Number 23, Valerie Dominguez. Number 32, Abby Furman. And at keeper, Isabel Escobar. And now the starting lineup for your local Grizzlies. Oh, Wearing number five, Megan Christensen. Number seven, Shay Davidson. Number eight, Giselle Tenna. Wearing number 10, Whitney Lopez. Number 14, Kennedy Michael. Number 17, Busy Arevalo. Number 18, Kylie Thunderbolt. Number 24, Alec Kennington. Number 26, Erin Godfrey. Number 30, Taylor Rose. And your goalkeeper, wearing number zero, Kata Mockenberg. Logan High is coached by Natalie Norris. Good evening, everybody. You're looking live with Fair River Live here on the Watch It Network. We're here at Logan High School. For game one of the region for the Lady Bears. They take on the Logan Grizzlies. I'd like to thank you for joining us and thank you to all our sponsors. All right, here we go. We got a little technical difficulties on the audio. Hope we got that buzzing, annoying buzzing sound out of the way. Logan on the attack first. They're wearing the black jerseys. Lady Bears in white. But thank you for watching and thank you to our sponsors for making this possible. Way to better try to clear this one out. Escobar roots it down a little bit further. Other games going on in the region, you got Skyview playing Green Canyon and Ridgeline is taking on Mountain Crest.
the kid downfield. And there's a shot that's gonna go nowhere close to the goal. So we'll have a goal kick. For the Lady Bears. Isabel Escavel is our keeper for the Lady Bears. kick controlled again by the Grizzlies trying to look for a shot and broken up by Lady Bears defense Headed out by Logan, it'll be the Lady Bears throw in. And we have a whistle. Didn't like the throw in, we'll try it again. And Escavel. He kicked out again. Lady Bears keep possession. Passes it up. There's a lead and kicked out by Esquivel. The Grizzlies will throw it in here on this near side. As this goes out, goal kick for the Lady Bears. So far, the defense is looking strong for Bear River. Haven't had too many opportunities to attack on offense yet. Goes out on the far side. Lady Bears will throw it in. Abby Furman throws it in. The windward that gets broken up. Robert Skarima, but we're gonna have a penalty on the Lady Bears. It'll be Logan's ball. And kicked away. I don't know how she's not off sides, but that was going to be the first goal for the Logan Grizzlies. Take a look at the replay. She must have got off at a good spot. Doesn't get much easier than that with a wide open goal. He yeah, has the Grizzlies. Strike first. That goal was by number 17 of Logan.
And that goes by number 17, Logan Busy. She is one of the leading scorers on the Logan Grizzlies team. Good defense by Bentner. And now they finally call it out. Yeah, that line is maroon. Kind of blends in a little bit. Scooped up by Esquivel. Dominguez trying to get it away. Logan prevails down the field. They go with it. Stops it, tries to center it, breaks it in the open, and scooped up by Esquivel. Gets it away, back over to her. <laughs> oh, Grizzly's back ahead. Cleared out again by Esquivel. And we're gonna have, we're gonna have a foul on Logan. It'll be Lady Bears possession. Looks like Bittner will be the one kicking it off for the Lady Bears. Up and over the head, out of bounds. Grizzlies will take it on this near side. Bittner with the battle and wins. Passes it up to Tilly and Logan. Clears it out, now back over to the corner where nobody is as it goes out. Lady Bears to throw it in. Fourteen to Logan with it. Looking for somebody. Tries to center it up and out of bounds. Logan to keep it. We got Andy Marchant here taking your pictures for Andy Marchant Photography. I could thank him for being a good sponsor. Bear of Athletics. Logan on the attack again, tries to center it up. Defense all over it.
And don't forget about our Tories Trend Setter of the Game. Brought to you by Tories Trends. And we're gonna have a quarter kick for Logan. Tries to head it in to no prevail. Logan still has it. Trying to look for an opening and kicked out of there. Casey Winward passes it up. Pass taken away by Logan. Still fighting for it. And this one doesn't save. Nope, stay out of bounds. But it'll still be Logan possession. to roll out on the deflection. Casey yeah. Winward on the outside gets the ball and broken up. Centered up, Ashley Roberts kicks it out of there. And another good clear out by Furman. And this ball is gonna go out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick for the Lady Bears. Substitution in for Logan. Elizabeth Oldham coming in for the Grizzlies. And Winward can't set. Logan to throw it in. And back to the keepers, Esquivel. Boots it away. And a penalty on Logan. It'll be Lady Bears possession. Bettner to kick it away as Lady Bears get set. Kicked ahead, Casey Winward on the outside. Saves it from going out. Now looking for help. Tries to center it up, weak kick. Gets kicked out, still Lady Bears throw in on that far side. Centered up, and here comes the Grizzlies again. Another breakaway, number 17, and there's offsides. You know, I kind of questioned that the first time around. Busy is fast. There's a kick from Bittner. Center it up again. Keeper will just scoop this one up. Isabel throws it ahead, a little too far ahead. 
Need open, open goal. Can she get it to turn? And she does. That's goal number two for the Logan Grizzlies. And that is number three who gets that goal. She just barely subbed in to the game. Elizabeth Oldham. We'll take a look at the replay. Need it just got past uh, Isabel. Just around the corner she goes. That goal was scored by number 26, Aaron Godfrey. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number two. So the Grizzlies take a 2-0 lead. He's still in the first half. As this goes out, it'll be Logan to throw it in. Throw in over by Annie Marchant. As it goes right back out, Logan keeps possession. Good battle away. More and more staying with it. Karima tries to take it. Logan still on the attack. Here's a kick ahead. And this one might be a little too much. No. As it goes out. It'll, it'll be a goal kick for the Lady Bears. We got a substitution in for the Lady Bears. Kareem Esquivel checks out. Let's see who comes in for her. It looks to be number seven, Morgan Noyes. Logan to throw in on the far side. Quick throw in to clear it out. Middle Lady Bears defense. Kicked out by Ashley Roberts. It'll be Logan to throw it in. Again on this near side. Let a little too much. The Lady Bears are used to playing on grass, so we come over to these turf teams. Ball rolls a little bit quicker than what they're used to. This one goes out, still Logan's possession. Bentner clears it out. Dominguez collects it. Time runs out, pass stolen away. Centers it up, passes it off, misses the ball. Furman steals it away. Noise back over to Furman. Winward trying to battle it from two Logan defenders. And they let it roll back to the goal. Logan's keeper boots it away.
Logan on the attack again. Busy blowing past everybody. There's a shot and a good save by Isabel. That ball goes out. Let's take a look at the replay. Busy's, Busy's fast. She comes around that corner, but denied by Isabel. Entering the game for the Logan Grizzlies, number 32. We got substitutions for both teams. Number 32 for Logan. Leah Hale, I believe is her name. I didn't catch the number that came in for the Lady Bears, but over on that far side, Logan centers it out and that kicks it to this near side. All right, Karina check backs in for the Lady Bears. She passes it ahead, good pass, but then broken up again by Logan. Lormer, Lormer, out of the outside. This one gets away from him. Headed to keep it back in by Logan. There's a kick to head, busy, too far. And kicked out by Bear River. It'll be Logan's throw in here on this near side. Roberts breaks up the pass, but then they go backwards. Busy with it over here in the corner. Going to center it up, try to look for somebody. Kick gets through, and another good block by Isabel. Set up a corner kick for Logan. Busy boots it to the center. Tries to head it, it goes the other way, out of bounds. The Lady Bears will have a goal kick. Down by two with a 16 and a half. About to go in this first half. And this near side, number 18 with it for Logan. He's going to center it up, tries to kick it, and close, but Isabel. Scoops it up, boots it away. Take a look at the replay. Sticking your arm out there, holding the ball up there is pretty risky. We're gonna have a throw in for Logan on this near side. Carly Jenkins checking in for the Grizzlies. Number four with a breakaway. Here's a shot, but deflected away as Escavel lays on it. Right idea, just a weak pass. Lady Bear still fighting for it. Lorimore with it. And her pass is taken away. Then there's going to be a push on Ashley Roberts. The Grizzlies will have a position.
Kick to hit, gathered up, and she's already off sides. Bittner to kick it for the Lady Bears. Kick to the center, that pass almost broken up. Lormer's pass picked off. Lorimer on the far side, looking for Windward and loses it. Esquivel with it now. Throw in for the Lady Bears, but we have some substitutions coming in. Two checking in for the Lady Bears is Jenna Park and Madison Price in for the Lady Bears. Esquivel to Esquivel. Logan with it. Kicks ahead. Nobody's there to get it. Isabel lays on it again. They're fighting for it as it goes out. They're going to say oh, Lady Bears to throw it in. Misjudge that one. Logan, quick throw in. Windward with it now. Screaming down the line, tries to pass it ahead, and this one's booted out. Lady Bears will throw it in on that far side. Furman can't keep it in, she'll kick it out. Logan to throw it in. Substitutions in for Logan, number seven and number eight. That is Shay Davidson and Giselle Tenna. All this running around making you thirsty, you can hop into Soda Fix and get your fix. Busy with it again, kicked ahead. This could be scary. Up and over the. Goal. And there is goal number two for Busy and number three for the Logan Grizzlies. And check the replay right now. push it'll be a lady bears possession Ashley to Roberts now to kick it for the lady bears as they get set up downfield about at the 10 minute mark left in this first half
Matt. Madison Price slows it down and kicked out by the Lady Bears. It'll be Logan's throwing down over there on that far side. Kicked out again, this time by Roberts. It'll be Logan's throw in, still on that far side. Entering the game for the Logan Grizzlies, number 24, Alex. Tilly Schaefer comes in for the Lady Bears, and number 24 comes in for Logan. Alec Kennington is the Grizzly checking in. Trying to fight for it as we're gonna have a whistle. They're gonna call that against Logan. Randall loses it a busy up to 24 and Karima tries to get it out of there. And they are going to call. And it looks like they're going to set up for a corner kick for Logan. Nope. They're going to set a penalty on Esquivel. So busy with it over here on this near side. Already's got two goals for the game. See what Logan's got in store for this one. Up and over, flying in, but kicked out by the Lady Bears defense. And Furman clears it out, out of bounds. Tomlinson breaking that one up. That one looks scary. Number 10 comes in for the Logan Grizzlies. Winnie Lopez. And for Logan, here's the throw in. Karima trying to clear it out. Busy centers it. Now back out of this corner. And it goes out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick. Scooped up by Esquivel. Yeah, this one wide left. Bittner checks back in for the Lady Bears.
and there's going to be a penalty on Logan. You see her grabbing the arm. Bittner kicks it away. Again, gathered up by Logan as she kicks it out. It'll be Lady Bears throwing on the far side. This one headed out of bounds. Logan to throw it in now. Right in front of the Bears bench. Busy's pass ahead. Back to Busy, but that one's broken up by the Lady Bears defense. Lormer up to Windward. And this one taken away, no, we got a penalty on Windward. It'll be, it'll be Lady Bear, or Logan's possession. So we're gonna kick it on the far side. Logan again on the attack. Bender's back there, looks to break it up. Kicked out by Isabel, and this one deflected away, and it'll go out of bounds. Logan Grizzlies will throw it in on this near side. Just under two and a half minutes left to go, I believe, in the first half. And this one's up and through the uprights. I'll have a goal kick for the Lady Bears. And broken up again. Tomlinson again. Another one that was looking scary. And that'll be a corner kick for Logan. It's another Logan High corner kick. This one headed out. Karima finally clears it out, out of bounds. There's a kick to center it up. Now around the corner, there's a kick and it's no good. Take a look at the replay of what just happened. And from the corner kick, here goes the kick. There's a header that almost goes in and then you gotta head it back out. Abby Furman and, that, and Karima kicks it out. Here's a kick from Bittner. I believe first half is all but done. Here at Logan. And as soon as I say it, there's the whistle the for halftime. So Logan's three, Lady Bears zero. Let's see if we can regroup and learn something to come out in the second half. Let's see if we can get back into this one. I'd like to thank our sponsors and we'll do that 
as we take a couple commercial breaks. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stop by Tori's Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is the perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the Grill has something for everyone. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. The Pie Dump at Bar TL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll even cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and Toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Stop by the River Wash today and give your vehicle a clean shine. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason back to school. All my classes were. Time spent away from my family, but it's so worth it. Now I can get the degree. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's gonna happen. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert.
back as we get the second half ready to go here in Logan High School. They already have a 3-0 lead over the Lady Bears. See what the Lady Bears did to adjust after halftime. Windward on that far side. Tries to save it. But out of bounds, it'll be Logan to throw it in. Far side, broken up by the Lady Bears. Karima staying with it. Happened to get a pass, three Logan Grizzlies, they finally call a penalty on Logan. Benner will kick it away for the Lady Bears. Lady Bears already doing a better job of controlling the ball here in this first or second half. And they did opposed to the first. That's ahead, Furman gonna kick it out. And that'll set up a corner kick for Logan. It's another Grizzly corner kick. Kicks away, up and Still fighting for it, and finally kicked out, and cleared out out of bounds. 
Logan will throw it in on the far side. And that's not, that's gonna be a dangerous play on the Lady Bears, number 11. Ashley Roberts, so they'll line up and have a close kick. Here, here at the goal. Looks like number 24, Logan's gonna be the one kicking it. Number 14, excuse me. Here's a kick in and and that is by number 14 of Logan. Kennedy Mickle. She's one of the leading scorers from last year. That one's hard to defend. Four zero for the Logan Grizzlies. Tries to save it, but it's out. Lady Bears to throw it in. And now we turn it over to, nope. They say still keep it for the Lady Bears. Furman tries it again. Another quick throw in. Lormer passes it up. Roberts with it now. Gets it stolen away. And that far side battling. Madison Price. There's a kick on wide left. Goal kick for the Lady Bears. Bittner will do the honors. We have a substitution for the Lady Bears. Number 14 comes in. That is Ariana Hernandez as Bittner kicks it away and whistled dead. Don't think the ref was quite ready yet. So we'll try it again. Headed up and controlled by Logan. <laughs> and this one rolls out. Logan quickly throws it in. Staying on the attack. Bender looking for somebody. This pass picked off. Against 26, so Logan going to run into a stiff defense. Bender still on her. Gets past her, tries to center it up, and there is a whistle. Could have called off sides on Logan. Busy back at it, kicks it up. Good defense by Price. We'll have a corner kick again for Logan. It's another Grizzly corner kick. Kicked up, headed and off to the left. 
Taylor Rolls with the header for Logan. Bedner to kick it away. Controlled by Roberts. Windward with it. Passes it up. Not quite there. Here comes Logan again. Good hustle by Lorimer. Getting back there. Centers it up. Bender's got it. Kicks it out of there. Windward to the races. Over to Karima. Karima. Let her a little bit too far. Six with it. And back out to four, four. Tries to center it out. Now Logan with it on the far side. Here's a kick and deflected away by Bittner. Another corner kick for Logan. They've had a few scary ones. Alec Kennington coming in for the Grizzlies. And another clear out by the Lady Bears. And it's another Grizzly. And that's going to set up another corner kick for Logan. A lot of defense for the Lady Bears tonight. Headed up and almost in. Bittner over to Furman. Furman's pass out of bounds. Deflected off Logan. It'll be Lady Bears throw in. Kick and a good save. Logan still has possession. And kicked out. Last touch by Furman. Karima with another good save right here. After the throw in, there's a battle. Dominguez back to Furman. Furman kicks it high, and it's going to go out. Logan to throw it in. Logan working the outside. Lady Bears breaks it up, clears it out. This time number 24 with it on the far side. And that'll set up another Logan corner kick. It's another Grizzly corner kick. 
Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number two, Rachel Marion. Number two comes in for Logan. Rachel Marim comes in, and also substitution in for Barber, number 22, Tilly Schaefer. Here's the corner kick. And headed out, we'll have a goal kick. Got a lot of good footwork in this game. Speaking of footwork, Tori's Trends has got a half off all footwear. to thank her for being a great sponsor and this year. Looking for an opening, the Lady Bears clear it out. Time that one good, let's see who last touched it. It's gonna be off Logan, goal kick, and another substitution in for Logan, number 12. Colette Held. Benner to kick it. Another good defense play by the Lady Bears as this one's been to the head. Could be scary another. Lady Bear stepping up. Tomlinson, another good save. The Lady Bear's defense. And a penalty on Logan. Looks like we're going to have a yellow card given to the Logan player. Winnie Lopez of Logan gets a yellow card. She'll take a seat. Number 32 comes into the game for her. Entering the game for the Logan Grizzlies, number Mia three, Hale. Leah Hale. Leah Hale, excuse me. Benner to kick it away. As this goes out, throwing for the Lady Bears. Substitution again for both teams. Number eight for Logan. That's Giselle Tenna. And for the Lady Bears, Morgan Noyes comes in. Mingan's over to Winward. Winward can't keep up with it. And this one, the last touch by the Lady Bears. Logan to throw it in on the far side. Casey fighting for it. Say, Bear Burr keeps possession. There's a throw, and penalty is going to be on. And they're going to call it against the Lady Bears. It'll be Logan's possession. Just thought it was a little rough. Grizzlies get set. Looks like we are going to have 
The yellow card pulled. They, 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 they might be, they might be pulling a yellow card on Coach Escavel. Yeah. <laughs> Logan with a kick. Stolen away, here comes Logan on the attack. That pass goes to nobody. A good recovery by Logan as they just walk it out. We'll have a goal kick. Number 23 comes in. Carly Jenkins comes in for Logan. Cleared out by the Lady Bears. Now collected. Casey Winward battling. Kicked ahead. And nobody's going to keep up with it. That's that turf. Now we talked about earlier, it's hard to adjust as we have a penalty on Logan. Lady Bear set up, Bittner looks to kick it. Pass back, blocked away. Pass the head, Roberts. Passes this one ahead. Lady Bears aren't going to catch up with this one either. As they'll just let this one roll out. And we'll have a goal kick for Logan. Halfway through the half, we got some substitutions. Number 18 comes in for Logan. Kylie Fandabout comes in. And Karima checks back in for the Lady Bears. Logan to throw it in on this near side. And kicked out, and they'll let this one roll out. Goal kick for the Lady Bears. Cleared out by Bittner. See if Winward can win this battle. Staying with it as it goes out. Last touch by Casey. It'll be throw in for Logan. Kicked ahead and out of bounds. Goal kick for the Lady Bears in a 4-0 ball game here in the second half. And 
Laskarian, a good reach and grab by Isabel. Furman to run it down. Last touch by Logan. The whistle, we have a substitution coming in for Logan, number 10. Entering the game for the Logan Grizzlies, number 10, Whitney Lopez. Take a look at the replay. This one looks scary. Just right on the fingertips. Scoops that one back in. Whitney Lopez returns to the game. That was the Logan substitution. Karima trying to battle and they call a penalty on her. Yeah, this referee's already gave two yellow cards for mouth and off. I think Tanglewood Studios as this kick goes wide or left for being a good sponsor. Preschool just started. They're teaching that out there. Gymnastics out there. Dance. Later manage to throw in and a quick throw in. Doesn't go to anybody. Roberts with the battle. Kicked away, wins that one, and out of nowhere <laughs> comes Dominguez. No penalty. Tilly up to Dominguez. Dominguez loses it, kicked out by Logan. And there's another shove. They're letting him go a little bit more now. Casey Windward on the far side, trying to work it down for the Lady Bears. Tilly now on the near side, centers it back up, and this pass taken away by the Logan Grizzlies. And we like to thank USU, Brigham City Campus. Living in Tremont, we have the luxury of commuting to either Logan or Brigham. It's about sixes. And there's a penalty, and they're going to call that A on the Logan Grizzlies. This kid goes out of bounds. It'll be Logan throwing on the far side. We got about 15 and a half minutes left. Bar in a few minutes for some penalties. Well, Logan leads four to zero. Furman there to gather this one up and she'll just clear it out out of bounds. Logan throw in here on this near side. Round of the edge, broken up again. Tomlinson, collision. They're gonna call a penalty on a Logan back here. At about the 15 yard line. Another great sponsor we'd like to thank is the River Wash. One of these days it'll rain. Until then, 
keep your car looking good. At the river wash. Had it out by Furman. Logan to throw it in. Entering the game for the Logan Grizzlies. Number three, Elizabeth Oldham. Oh. A lot of substitutions coming in for Logan. Two more. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to catch them all. Throw in, cleared out, and they're gonna say Logan keeps possession. Cleared out by Roberts. Right back at it comes Logan. Roberts again. Kick tie and to the left. Bentner kicks it to Furman. Yeah, as this goes out, we're going to throw it in near side. Taylor tries to get it back to Furman as Logan gets another throw in. As he centers it back out, here's a shot and over, Isabel said. And yeah, that is number five for the Logan Grizzlies. That's another hard one to defend. Just another chip shot right up and over the goal. That goal is scored by number 12, Colette Hell. Cola Hell's the one that scores that one for Logan. Goal number five. I did it again. Held is the last name. Back over this near side again. Furman's there. Another battle. Tries looking for help. Centered up. Back outside. And we'll have a throw in for the Lady Bears. an offsides call on Logan. Ten and a half minutes, give or take, left to go in the second half. Tilly trying to take on three Logan players by herself. And now they clear it out center. Kicked ahead. Now it's Roberts' turn to take on two. Kicked ahead and tapped away as this one rolls out. And that'll set up a corner kick for Logan. Another Grizzly Corner King. Logan sets up. Here's the kick away. It's 
still alive and finally kicked out. But we'll go to the other side and set up another corner it's kick. It's another Grizzly corner kick. And we like to thank the Python for being another good sponsor this year for Bear River Athletics and Bear River Live. Talk a lot about their hot rolls as this one is headed out of bounds. Goal kick for the Lady Bears. And a substitution for the Lady Bears as Tilly comes out. We have Number two, checking in for the Lady Bears. That is Naomi Tomlinson. Freshman getting some varsity time. And this ball stalls, goes out of bounds. The Lady Bears to throw it in. And they give the possession to Logan. attack again. And before that throw in, Logan has more substitutions. Number 13 and number 14. Alexi Pintle. And Kennedy and Michael. Michaelson, excuse me. Here's a deep kick, wide right. Goal kick for the Lady Bears. Deep kick, controlled by the Lady Bears this time. Pass ahead, now it's a foot race. Trillions wins, there's a kick, and it's on the outside of the goal. So we'll have a goal kick, again for the Lady Bears. Bentner now to kick it away. She just passes over to Furman. Furman with it. It's a knocked away and it's out. So they're gonna say Lady Bears to throw it in. Furman does as her throwing is picked off by Logan. Kick back, here's a long shot, tapped away, and a good save. Furman and Esquivel keeping that one out of the goal. And there's gonna be a penalty on Logan. Benner, another pass over to Furman. As this one passed ahead, still in bounds. And Logan is gonna let it roll out. Throw it over to the herd, their keeper.
head it out, the Lady Bears to throw it in. As we have two Lady Bears coming in from the substitution. Looks like Furman is going out. Jenna Park and Morgan Noyes comes out. Or come in, excuse me, Furman is the player that goes out. Kick to head, here comes Logan on the attack again, but Isabella Escavel's there. Soft pass, 14, jumps in front of it again. Busy on the outside, looking for help. Lopez has it center. Night. Nicely broken up by Karima. Karima staying with it. Passes ahead. Throw in for the Logan Grizzlies. Uh, that throwing goes out of bounds. Oh, mid judge overrules. It'll be a Lady Bears throwing. And it looks like we're going to have a goalie change for the Lady Bears. Kareem Esquivel, or excuse me, her sister. Isabel Esquivel comes out. Has to head over to the corner. Again, Lady Bears defense working hard tonight. And they're going to say out of bounds. They're going to give it to Logan here on this near side. Bittner. Taps it back, Logan's still fighting for it, and this will be cleared out. Gotta move quick, over to Roberts. Roberts ahead, trying to get it to Karima. And Winwarder goes down, and they are going to call a penalty on Logan. Winward gets back up. That's a good sign. She is the Lady Bears' leading scorer this year so far. Slown away by the Grizzlies. Benner with a foot race. Can't save it. And we'll have a goal kick for the Lady Bears. And that's going to do it. So Logan Grizzlies get the first win in region play against the Lady Bears. 5-0 your final score. You know, it's hard to pick just one player in a uh, team sport like this, but it was a defensive night. 
And for the defensive effort, we are going to give Tori's trendsetter to Abby Furman. She had a good block. She had a good block uh, back here in the first half. Let's see if we can pull that up for you. And let's make that a little bit bigger for you. Off this corner kick, you'll watch your head away from the goal. After this header, after bam, this one headed out. That was a good clear out. Karima, Karima finally. So she will get from Tori's trends is a, uh, if you haven't noticed, cell phone's getting a little bit larger, a little bit larger than your hand to hold. I guess they have these, these uh, inventions called, I don't know what you call them. A, Yay. That shows you how much I, that shows you how much I know about them. So you stick them on the back of your phone and you can hold it with one hand. Yeah. And we'd like to thank all our sponsors for able for being able to bring this service to you we'd like to thank the pie dump tinkwood studios and the grill they've been a great sponsors for us and if you like what you see and a lot more of it go in and tell them thank you and support them the grill and the pie dump of course with great food and tinkwood studios with a whole lot more to offer than just dancing we'd like to thank tori's trends for being a sponsor and being our trend setter sponsor of the game I like to thank SodaFix, we mentioned them, getting thirsty, get your fix at SodaFix. And we would like to thank the River Wash for jumping on board this year. Go in there and get your car shiny again, if it's a little dull from the wind we've been having. Andy March of Photography, you mentioned him and we've seen him here. So get ready for more soccer pictures from him on his Instagram page. Go check his website at Andy Marchant. Dot com. And Utah State University, Brigham City Campus. We'd like to thank them for jumping on board and being a good sponsor. Sorry if the commercial was a little glitchy. We'll get that fixed for the next time around. Speaking of the next time around, we will take the sponsor screens away, look at our schedule. We've been waiting for it. September 7th, we've got Bear River football going against Morgan. That'll be a home game as far as we know. And Bear River Live will be there to cover that even if it moves to Morgan. So your final in this one is the Logan Grizzlies 5, Lady Bears 0 as they fall 0-1 in region. We'd like to thank you for watching again and again. Thank you to these sponsors. Go in and support them. And we will see you Friday night, September 7th, for Bear River Football against Morgan. You've been watching Bear River Live. We'll see you then.